Hey what's up guys and welcome to my last video of 2020 <laughs> So this video, it's me, all natural, as you can see, meet the people. <laughs> and I just want to talk a little bit about this year, about what I'm expecting next year to be. And if it's not, then I don't know what else to do, <laughs> honestly. So I'm here, very comfortable, as you can see, and I just really want to talk openly about this year, about next year, my expectations, what it went down this year, what I liked, what I didn't, my goals, expectations and everything else. And I just hope you bear with me because this video is very important and I think a lot of people need to hear everything that I'm about to say. So this year was of course not a very <laughs> great year. Um, it started off just great. We thought we had everything, we could do everything that we wanted. We had all of these goals and expectations that turned out to worth nothing. Honestly, this year was very important to me because I got to spend a lot of time with my family and I couldn't actually be happier with that because we were just able to understand each other's asks each other's routines and just to understand why people sometimes are a little bit annoying or why people are just not as relaxed as we thought they should be because they just have a lot of things to do and so yeah it was I think a great year to get closer to family I don't have anything scripted so I'm just thinking about stuff to say Honestly, this year was a very crazy year for me. I started working, I graduated, and I created my own small business. It's not as... It's not going as strong as I thought it would be since TikTok just gave me that expectation, but I haven't put a lot of work into it, honestly. I can't blame others for my failures. We will be talking about that later on this video. Honestly, what I think... 2020 was worth of just a small thought was just that life is so so short thank you mom <laughs> life is just so short that we should all just take a step back and actually enjoy it um i have another perspective on life another motto i guess i started the year by just having this motto of you know if you want it you do it but now I really, really understand and kind of put into practice my thoughts. So I really wanted to start my small business like three years ago and I finally got the chance and the courage to just do it. It's not where I want it to be and it's not looking as I wanted it to look like, but that's just you learning and evolving as well. This year was a very self-explored ration kind of thing um, we were of course in lockdown which was pretty sad I got the terrible uh, three months away for my boyfriend terrible three months away for my little sister my dad and the whole family besides my mom and everything because I live with them it was really sad it got me a little bit depressed I won't I won't lie not as depressed as a lot of people and but it got me real sad I was having a lot of anxiety but then out of the sudden I could manage everything that I was feeling and so it was it, it went smoothly the rest of it what I think it got me to realize is that I really appreciate spending time with my friends I don't do that very often, I wish I've done more and sometimes I just wish that all that oh we should get a coffee would turn in actually getting a coffee with someone so I think that's what really got me to thinking it was that you'd never know what's happening tomorrow so just make the best of it you know take every little chance that you have to spend with family, with friends, with your boyfriend, with your dog. I loved spending so much time with my dog, honestly, that was so good. <laughs> 
so by this time you i hope you all got to just take a step back and rethink everything in your life because this year was a very eye-opening year um and yeah i don't know what else to say honestly um It was a great year for me in terms of growth and so I'm glad that 2020 is over or almost over but also it was a very important year. It had its little ups and its low low lows (laughs) and downs but at the end of the day we made it one more year, one crappy hell of a year and we did it. Uh, This year I got to accomplish a lot of stuff actually, Uh, as I previously mentioned, I graduated, I started working in my uh, area (laughs) in design, so very excited about that. I got to create my small business, which will be launching like non-stop next year, 2020, the first day, and I'm very excited about that because I have to do a lot of things (laughs) until then. And I also got to grow this family to a point that I thought I never would because, as you know, I started YouTube a long time ago, honestly, like four years, five years ago, something like that. And I've never had more than 2,000, 1,200 subscribers and now having 12,000 subscribers is something. I'm grateful for every single person that's watching me throughout this year. It was a very crappy year, but what got me to be thankful was just to be able to grow this family. Honestly, I think it sounds like a cliche, but on it, it, it truly is. It fulfills my heart to know that somebody is out there, somebody is there, you are there. And you appreciate my work, you appreciate my job-ish, you appreciate me. And uh, that's very important for me, like to know that someone likes me and loves the the things that I do and expose through the world. So that's, uh, that's just a blessing, honestly. And I know a lot of you guys also want to start your YouTube channel and there is never the best time. There is never the time except now. So just do it, just go and accomplish everything that you wanted 2020 to be because, you know, this is our new reality. It didn't have to be, but it is, sadly, unfortunately, it is. So we just have to work our ways into accomplish everything that we want and never look back. (laughs) If I want to leave 2020 with a note is just do everything that you want just do every just accomplish yourself just feel satisfied just feel fulfilled because at the end of the day that's what matters your health and your mental health as well so just be happy be fulfilled and i don't know i just want people to take care of themselves uh and accomplish everything that they set their mind to and this is sadly our new reality but you know you gotta go for it Uh, there's nothing stopping you you have to work your ways into your goals and yeah basically that's it for 2021 i want everyone to be happy i want everyone to work their ways into their goals as i said there's nothing stopping you there's just some you know bumps on the way but you you go through them it's fine and 2021 should be just a year of freedom, in a way. We went through 2020 together. 2021 is just, you know, the year after the mess. So we need all to get up, stop feeling comfortable in our own bubble and pursue everything that we want. And I want 2021 to be for this channel a year of growth, a year of getting more people together, a year of community. I love talking to you guys. This video is getting so long, but I think it was a very needed video. Sometimes things don't go as you wanted, as you planned it, but if you have a goal, you just work your way into achieving them. And 
I'm a Portuguese YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, wow. <laughs> I've never called myself that. I'm Portuguese and I'm trying to work my ways into growing these massive healthy community and yeah, I just need your help to stick around, to give me feedback, to give me love. <laughs> that sounds desperate, but yeah. And I just want to say how much grateful I am to have you, every single one of you. And I celebrate every subscriber that I gain each day. That I lose, I get really like upset and, and I'm like, why aren't you liking my content? But it's fine. As I said, this year is going to be the year. I'm going to be sharing a lot of things with you guys. I want everyone to be happy, healthy, and at their best, honestly. And just get your goals, get your priorities, and just achieve them. Work to get everything that you want. So yeah, basically that's my message for you. I just hope that you could take some positive things from this year and that you can make 2021 your year, the best year so far. It's a difficult year, but we are going to go through it together. And I just want to say that I love you all so, so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'm just so blessed. So thank you for this year. I couldn't have done, I couldn't have gone through this year also without you because you were always there to support me. It was sometimes a crappy year and an anxious year and uh, I don't know, but you were always there to support and yeah. I just love you all so, so much and here's to the new year, I guess. <laughs> Thank you all for being there. Thank you all for the kind message, comments and support. I love you all and I'll see you next year on my next video. Bye! Stay healthy, stay happy. Bye!